Hi guys. Ooh, it's twenty past six in the evening. And I think I spent most of the day, or at least a good chunk of it, out in town with mum and stepdad. Uh, and then brother stopped up this afternoon after he'd done his work. Um, just what a hand to take a few things down the tip. And... All gone. We took through the, well, what was what remained of the sofa in the uh, in the van as well, and got rid of that. So, uh, yeah, man, I've got space on the land, and all that rubbish is cleared up. Um, put the wheels back in this one. Um, but the only problem is I've forgotten where I put the drylier. It's probably. One of the one ones I was going to put on eBay and just never got round to doing it. Or it's in the box of dryers in the outside cupboard. Um, yeah, there's no drop out for it. As you can see. There's both halves uh, on the shelf over there where I know where they are. Uh, it won't be next time I get paid, but I'm going to take a trip to the cycle shop in about three weeks because I think I will just give this a good service I'll do I'll replace I won't go into but I will I'll replace all cables put a front brake disc back on it because I pinched the rotor for uh, experimenting on my Claude Butler just to see if it was the pads or a rotor that was no good and it turned out to be the rotor and uh, I've got plenty more, I can soon find another one to whack on there. I've got wheels with them on as well, so... Oh, pardon me. The bottom is speaking. It's got weird mud guards on this. But I want to get this one done... Soon, sooner the better. Because, uh, at least, hopefully by next summer... I'll um, use it to go to Mum's on, so she wouldn't have to uh, keep picking me up and bringing me home. And just whack lights on it, whack reflectors on it, because it hasn't got a rear reflector for some reason. It's not a front one. But the rear one has uh, done a disappearing act. Now the spokes are rusty. Now what I was going to do with those is hit them with some black spray paint just to smarten them up a bit. <laughs> Or could um, hand paint them, which would take a long while. Um, yeah, I was just I was going to hit them with some sort of black paint just to smarten them up, because the wheels are fine themselves and the spokes are still strong. It's just that um, I've got a lot of surface rust on them, which is a shame, really, because that frame is absolute mint. Yeah, it's a hybrid, and I actually. When I first saw this, when my friend had it, I thought someone had changed the handlebars to a straight bar from a um, racing bar, because that's what this reminds me of, a racing bike, or a road bike, but um, nope. This type of bike does have a straight bar, so it makes it a hybrid. Um, so I'm going to keep those on, keep the gear shifters on. See, the front brake actually works, so I, fine, so I could actually leave that. The rear one the cable sticks, as you can see. <laughs> the rear light is mine. This is what I paid £40 for off a friend of mine, because he used it up until the um, dropout broke for the drylier, and he was about 15-20 miles from home when it decided to break. Um, now, there's actually a couple of options. There's one that I could do, if I couldn't find the dropout. You get those um, temporary dropouts, or an emergency one, that I, which will basically fit in there quite snugly and then just drop straight down for the dryer, or at whatever angle you can get it at. Um, but the only problem is, that will come off every time I take the wheel off. So... Uh, well, I suppose you wouldn't take the wheel off too often, would you? Not unless 
um, you're one of these that surfs up every week or whatever. But uh, me, I don't. So long as the bike is still working, yeah, I'll gr oil the chain when it needs it. That's about it. Or if I fix a puncture and I notice the um, bearings feel a bit dry in the wheel, in the axle, then yeah, I'll probably service them. But I don't know. I tend to forget about them. But uh, I like it. That's why I bought it because I liked it. Um, it's an 18 speed, I think. It's got two gears at the front, nine on that back wheel, if I remember remember correctly. So, yeah, that would make a um, 18 speed then. Two nines, 18. So, uh, I think that would be perfect for um, a long distance ride to Mum's. Well, I say long distance, it's about eight miles. But I could probably do it pretty easy on this. And uh, I want to start doing those sorts of long rides again. Because all I do nowadays is basically around town. Uh, but I would like to um, get back. Because I haven't really lost any strength out of my legs. I've just lost stamina, I think. I could do a building that up again. Um... I've got a friend with Asperger's that does a lot of bike rides, but I have suggested we go on a ride together, but I presume, as he's never got back to me on that, he prefers solo rides, which is it's fine, you know, it's just an idea, I don't mind. I'm the opposite, though, I don't like solo rides. Not just a random solo ride, if I'm going somewhere, then that's different. Um, oh. Yeah, that's exactly the same tail light as on my Claude Butler. And, yes, I do have the headlamp to go with it. So, um, that's what I was saving those lights for, the other set. So, I've got two sets. Um, well, actually, the front light was on a bike my friend gave me. And uh, the two rear lights and the other front light I bought out of car boot as a job lot. So, um, it was just pretty much a, you know, just a coincidence that a bike... I was given um, had the correct front light on it so I could make two pairs up. Actually, I think that one is on the... Um, yeah, it is. It's actually on my Claude. The one I got at the car boot is um, going to go on this one. So, quite looking forward to getting this one up. Ooh, I'm tripping over the toolbox. Getting that one up and running. I just want to get it done. Um, but I can't do it next time because I've got bills and unfortunately bills have to come first uh, so we'll have to be payday after that which will be in three weeks time literally three weeks time from today so I'm not in any hurry for it you know it's not really the sort of bike you'd use uh, in the rain because it is raining out there at the moment well, I personally wouldn't, not with them sort of tyres on. This is the sort of bike I'd consider a summer bike, which is what this will be primarily for. I know it's got mud guards, but... Um, I actually think they would do all right. Although I prefer the mud, rear mud guard to come round here as well, otherwise you're just going to get back for the spray anyway. But uh, this I should keep most of it off the rear light, which is actually at the wrong angle. I've just realised. It does work. It's got batteries in. Well, it worked, yeah. I was going to say, it worked last time I uh, tried it. Both the wheels are quick release, so this isn't the sort of bike I'd take to the city. Because um, bike thefts in North City, or any city, are um, higher than they would be in a little town like this. And quick release wheels just make it a lot easier for the thief. So, uh, and even if you lock the frame, they can nick the wheels and put the wheels on another bike, you know, and try to disguise a bike before they sell it. <clears throat> anyway, I am looking forward to getting that one done. Tires have still got a little bit of air in, but I haven't actually pumped them up since I've owned it. 
Okay. It's pretty much a definite that if I spend a fair bit of money on a bike like I did this one, I intend to keep it. Um, unless, of course, I see one that I can think of a purpose for, like that one. With the uh, baggage rack and panniers on it. I could put them on the claw, but I don't want to wreck the frame. That is my uh, my uh, sort of leisure bike for round town, if you like. Anyway, you know, guess what I need to go do? Yep, take a dump. So uh, we've been talking ten minutes. Yeah, I'll come back. So see you. I'm back. That feels much better. Right. Well, while I was on the throne, I did think of a bicycle-related story I could tell. So, uh, as this is a bicycle-related video, I might as well tell you the story. Um, this was back, I think, when I was in high school, or I'd just left, actually, just left high school. So, around about 2000, 2001. And the bike I had, no, actually, it might have been a bit later than that, I'm thinking of a different bike. We'll say around about that time anyway. And the bike I had was a black pro bike, which I'm not sure if they still exist. Uh, actually, they might still exist because I have still seen pro bikes around. Um, they were another one of your cheap budget bikes. But in its defence, I would say it was probably one of the most reliable bikes I've ever owned. Because um, I owned that for four or five years before um, I got rid of it, and I wished I didn't. <laughs> if I didn't, I'd probably still be using it, to be honest, because I did really like that bike. Um, anyway, one day, you know, I was just riding it around. Uh, I think the first time I ever did this, I was still in school, so I was coming down a hill outside school, had to stop, hit the brakes, front brake cable snaps, and it snaps, where is it, in here, in the lever, so uh, I'll get home with only one brake, and I fix it, I think nothing of it, I'll just put another cable on, a couple of months later, it does the same thing, in the same spot. And it did this several times before I actually figured out where the problem might be. Because it was breaking in the exact same spot every time. So I thought, I'll change the brake lever this time, that'll get the bloody problem. So I did, I put a different pair of brake levers on. And it never did it after that. It proves it was in the brake lever. But uh, it's not very nice when it decides to snap when you have to brake in a hurry. Because <clears throat> the brake is usually under so much press pressure and force that uh, it does nip your hand when you, the cable does snap. And that does hurt. Um, thankfully, I haven't had it happen too often. Uh, but back then, I used to service my bike once a month. Now, once a month, I'd give it a good clean, uh, oil a chain if it needed it check condition of the cables, check condition of the tyres and wheels, and uh, I'll basically just check it over make sure everything is still in good work and order. Um, nowadays, I just keep an eye on things as I ride the bike, rather than do a monthly service, which um, seems to work, if, well it works fine for me, because I only really use a bike to go to Sainsbury's or maybe to a friend's across town, so but if I was going on long distance rides like I used to, so I used to do it with um, friends as well years ago, and then yeah I'd probably still be doing the uh, once a month service. Ooh, funky gear shifters, look at this! I've never seen any like that before, that it actually goes around the handlebar, but these are thumb shifters. Trigger shifters, whatever you want to call them.
It's not going to work properly because the cable is not connected. It's there. <laughs> Wrapped around the frame out of the bloody way. But I'll tell you what as well, this is a pretty light bike, you know, this is just one hand and uh, I'd say which I can't even guess the weight but uh, it's pretty damn light, probably the probably the lightest bike I've got actually of course it's because it's got an aluminium frame and uh, skinnier wheels and no um, suspension forks which will make it a lot lighter as well this is aluminium, I know the stem is aluminium handlebars, they usually do the handlebars out of steel anyway on a standard sort of bike like this one because it's stronger <laughs> I don't think I'd fancy an aluminium handlebar, you'd go over a bump and it'll bend anyway take that shitty bell off and it's all scuffed up no, it still works it's just all scuffed up if I have a bell on it then I'll put a better one than that thing on there right as the other cables actually look in good condition do the front gears work? yep, except uh, <laughs> two speed gears and three speed shifter so I'm going to have to make some adjustment there so it only uses um, one and two on that shifter because it's actually re requiring all three to go in top gear but uh, condition of the cable is actually okay so I don't see the point in um ah it is slack though that's why it's alright then <coughs> so a cable adjustment and that is it I don't see the point, because I was thinking about that when I was on the throne as well. I don't really see the point. I mean, the rear ca gear cable is actually alright as well. The only one that seems to um, not be functioning correctly is the rear brake. So I think I'll just replace that. Possibly the rear if the end of the cable gets frayed or will no longer reach down there. <coughs> so, uh, which obviously I'll check before. I go down and buy a brake cable, a definite brake cable. Uh, I think I could get away with the hours, but I might as well get through them both. Change the hours on the rear gears as well while I've got the cable off. I think this has got the shitty. Yeah, it's got the ones I hate, the thinner ones. And that actually feels a bit sticky as well, actually. So yeah. We'll change those ones as well. I'll probably use the old brake ones on the gear. Because <laughs> um, brake cables are thinner, and so are the um, hours when a bike comes from the factory. But when I do bikes, I'll always put the brake cable hours on the gear cables. It just lasts longer without them seizing. In fact, I've never had one seize on me, to be honest. Dad's messaged me. Dad was. Ran away. I'm sure no boy's going to ask me. Is your brother still there? He's not. He's bugged off. <laughs> Should be staying out friends tonight. But uh, if he hasn't got a hostel tomorrow, then I'll probably see him back here tomorrow night. Which ain't a problem. He's just helped me get rid of a sofa, so he's quite welcome to my floor if he's, if he's okay with that. Uh, right. Why should we be going over to Mum's either Saturday or Sunday? I don't know yet. And I'll bring that Saracen frame back, and that'll be another one we can look at together. Uh, and uh, I can talk you through what I plan to do with that one. Um, crap. I can't even remember what I've done with the chain of this one. I hope I haven't accidentally used it on another bike. I might have. <laughs> I might very well have, actually. Shit. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say to that. Shit, fuck, bollocks, assholes. Not to worry, because I'll find another one anyway. <laughs> 
is how forgetful I am. I've got plenty of trailers if I can't find the original one. I can't even remember what it looked like, to be honest. Never mind. I will find something. Um, what I can't think of anything else, at least not cycling related, to talk about. I don't want to take the video on for too long. Uh, I think 20 minutes would be good enough for this video. Uh, so just to recap, I need at least a brake cable for that, possibly um, a rear gear cable as well. Well, they're all the same length nowadays, so just a gear cable and a brake cable. Uh, what the hell else was it? Oh yeah, it's drying the drop out because it is... should be somewhere up here. I kept both halves. It is, they, both halves are up here somewhere. If I've fallen off the shelf, it's only gone down the back and it'll be on the um, bottom shelf anyway, so... I know it's up here. But I will need them when I, uh... Oh, found one half. Found two halves. Here we go. Two halves. <laughs> it's a similar one that my Saracen needs for this. For it as well, which has got, um... Like, uh... Three holes like that to mount it to the frame. Oops. My, my diabetes medication everywhere. Okay. Certainly did a good number on this, didn't he? Look, that snapped it clean enough. half. Yeah. It's not very strong though, if you look at it. It just snapped it right across that screw hole. <laughs> but uh, I was told a few months ago now, I've been busy with other things, I haven't had a chance to uh, get to the cycle shop. Um, that this particular cycle shop has a catalogue with every dropout ever made. Um, so hopefully I can get one. If I can't, then I'm going to cheat. I will use the cheat. Uh, I'll just quickly go on eBay and show you, then I'm going to shut the video down. Uh, that reminds me I've got an eBay bill to pay as well, but that's at the bottom of my list at the moment. Okay, so the picture's disappeared for this one. What if I click on it, will it show up? Nope. Image not available. Why is the image not available? Oh, there it is. I don't come back out of it. Yeah, one of these. Emergency gear derailleur mech hanger. Universal dropout frame saver. Uh, 9.99 they cost. So that's one option I've got if I can't find the proper one. Granted, because that'll obviously go through the wheel and then that'll sit on the frame with the derailleur hanging from there. It won't be very practical if I ever have to change the tyre or um, service the wheel or whatever. But it will make the bike usable. Uh, so that's one option. I haven't actually searched eBay for one. These pictures are taking a long while to load. You haven't searched eBay for one for quite a while, so... Oh, there's another one for eleven ninety nine. It's exactly the same bloody thing. Oh, but that one's a Coyote brand, though. And there's a couple more at the bottom here. Oh, another one for eight ninety nine. Exactly the same thing. No, not add to basket. I can't buy it yet. Add to watch list. Ninety nine p postage. Ooh, that's not bad. Right. So that's the other option I've got if I can't find the genuine hanger. I'm hoping I can. I will have another search on eBay at some point within the next three weeks. Um, let me get a bottle cage to put on this. That's the other thing I want. I've got bottle cages, so I'll throw one on this one. But no doubt I'll work up a sweat, get uh, cycling over to Mum, so that would be handy. I've got plenty of choice of other lights I can add to this, so it's got extra lights. 
I do like having the extra lights if anything so I've got a spare one to use if one fails okay that is it 15 minute video yeah. thanks a lot for watching uh, any comments or questions leave them in the comment section below and I will uh, answer them um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to like I do appreciate likes on my videos it does help me out as the um, content provider stop distracting me <laughs> noises from the computer I get distracted easily anyway um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already and uh, I'll talk to you again soon bye bye